I'm Steve Panuka, and I'm here at the third annual Hearst Magazine Designer Vision Show House. Let's go meet the designers. I'm here with the legend John Saladino, and I have the privilege of hanging out with John prior to the party, and I thank you for meeting with me, John. Stephen, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Hey, this is the show house that we designed, and this has been influenced by the film A Girl with a Pearl Earring. So how do you take a modern space and imbue it with some romanticism? Correct. So I used this plaster to suggest another layer, possibly an earlier building, and to use something that was handmade as opposed to the technologically slick sheetrock and poured concrete. I'd like to point out over here, we decided to mask the whole dining room with this moving wall of drapery. So that means you have privacy. You know what I love about this apartment? You have given the people options. We've tried, you know. Oh, no, you've succeeded, my friend. John, I noticed before when we were walking over here, you called this the all-purpose room. Tell me about it. Well, the idea is that the room has many uses for someone living in a smaller space. I love it. What's your favorite room in this place? If I had to say, pick a room right now. I uh, think the bedroom, I think is extremely central. It has a half canopy because they use the canopy literally as insulation. There was no heat except for the fireplace. And John, once again, the legend. It was my pleasure. No, no, it was my, my pleasure. pleasure, sir. Thank okay. you for meeting with Thank me. You. And I'm so happy that you met me before the party started, because I learned so much You're standing very, next to you. Very nice young man. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. Okay. I hope to remain young. Okay. I'm with Richard Bichon here at the Town & Country House, sponsoring his showroom. And Richard, thank you for having me. Thank you, Stephen, for spending time with me. No problem. Now, let me know. What was the movie that influenced you to do this room? Well, we picked Dinner at Eight, which is a movie by George Cooper that was filmed in the 30s, and it's about celebrating who people are and not being judgmental. I see a lot of hand-painted walls. I see some beautiful furniture. Anything from the movie that brought you into deciding on the colors or the textures? Yes, I wanted to take like the stateliness of this Astor apartment, which was all full of limestones and granites and things. And what about the lighting? We did a lot of sconces. One of the great things too is that these old baguette lamps that are worth a fortune are mixed in with a whole array of things at all prices. You know, I'll tell you something. I've walked around the apartment. I think the place is amazing. And my favorite part is actually what you just said, how you can get things like a crate and barrels and not really spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Exactly. Luxury is the life you afford yourself and not a price point. So even if you cut some flowers from your garden, put them on your dining room table, you've already made your life luxurious. And that's kind of what we're proving here. And you did. You succeeded. I love this man and Richard. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much, Steve. My pleasure. I'm here with the designer to <laughs> all the celebrities and everyone else that he cares about. All the celebrities, every all the single one of them. All the <laughs> hey, listen, while I'm here, okay. who did the, the work here? It's pretty nice. This wonderful, wonderful, wonderful contractor. His name is Steven Fanuka. You look a lot like him, but you're much really? better looking. <laughs> All serious is top. Yes. Room looks great. Thank you. I know how hard you worked on it because I was personally <laughs> here. Tell me about the movie you picked to influence you in this okay. room. So, Ed, you, you know The Big Chill was the movie that I chose. It's about this group of college friends that sort of rediscover their friendship and sort of look at where they are. And what I wanted this space to be, or what really inspired me, was the idea of them rediscovering themselves the way they did in college. But this house was all about exploration again and being a little bit more inventive and sort of going back to what they were doing when they were young. When yes. you first walked in, did you see anything that you said, wow, this is going to be a real big challenge? I have to say, when I walked into the townhouse, I thought, if I don't get Stephen Fanuka to help me on this project, it's never going to work. Tonight's your night. I know yeah. everyone around here wants to talk thank to you. you. I want to thank Thanks. you for having me. Having you? Are you kidding me? Dude, you were invited even if you didn't bring the camera. <laughs> That's what he said. We continue to work together. It's like a brother to me.